open the meeting of July 9th, 2020, ZBA. Uh, I call this meeting to order. Roll call, roll call by the secretary. Uh, Robert Decker. Present. Adam Sokolowski. Present. Bernie Sadowski. Present. Alexander Kirchenreiter. John Soberski. David Potter. Kathy Felton, present. Did you guys get in contact with John Soberski or no? No, we haven't heard a word. Okay, yeah, he's in the in the um, online meeting. I can send a text to that if you'd like. I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna need to, need to because we have a quorum. So we're just gonna we're just gonna okay. move move ahead. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I uh, call for a review and a vote on the minutes of the last meeting. Did everyone have a chance to look those over? I did. You did. Okay. Uh, uh, Madam Secretary, would you have a roll call vote for the acceptance of uh, the minutes of the last meeting? Okay. So you would like me to read everyone's name who's present? Yes. Okay. And ask them how they vote? Yes. Okay. Robert Decker? Yes. Adam Sokolowski? Yes. Bernie Sadowski? Yes. Kathy Felton? Yes. The uh, minutes are accepted with a unanimous 4 and 0. Oh. Roll call vote. Review mail, we have none. Line five, <clears throat> with the continuation of public hearing for the application of the Renaissance building for six North Street for an expansion of a 25 by 119 10 inch 2,996 square foot on the west side of the existing building pursuant with chapter 179, section 5300, zoning ordinance in the town of Deerfield. Bylaws by special permit required. Withdrawal with, from the applicant has requested. Requested to withdraw application without prejudice. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Make said motion. Do we accept? Do we accept it? Without president. Do we accept without president? Do I have a second? I have a second. A second. Okay, let's take a vote on that, please. Okay, Robert Decker. Yes. Adam Sokolowski. Yes. Bernie Sadowski. Yes. Kathy Felton. Yes. Vote is uh, the withdrawal is accepted with a unanimous decision from the board. Four and zero. Oh. Next. A, uh, item on our agenda, continuation of public hearing for the application of Daniel Telega for a special permit to the use of an accessory apartment at his home located on 127 North Street, map 158, lot 22. <clears throat> Applicant requests continuation to August 13th, 2020. Mr. Chairman? Yes. I make a motion. We continue that hearing until August uh, 13th, 2020. Do I have request the petitioner? I second. I have a second. Okay. Um, vote on that. I, I also agree. Well, let's take a now. I all, I'm also withdrawn from that discussion because of uh, personal conflict. But I, since we need a quorum for this, I will vote on this okay. so that we have a so we have a quorum. Robert uh, Decker. Yes. Adam Sokolowski. Yes. Continue. Bernie Sadowski. Yes, continue. Kathy Felton, yes, continue. So we have a unanimous continuation of the Daniel Tolega special permit, accessory apartment for August 13th, 2020. Item number seven, continuation of public hearing from Charles Beto. We are, gonna, we are going to look at this in a different way now. Um, this is a special permit to construct an addition on a lot of a non-conforming to the current frontage requirements. Since we are not in a position of having a meeting where we can have input from the, from the public, 
due to technical difficulties. I am asking for a continuation of this meeting also as chair. I so move we, um, that we continue the public hearing until August the 13th, 2020 uh, relative to the application of Charles Beto for a special permit. I second. Second, we have a second. Okay, we're gonna call for a roll call vote. Robert Decker? Yes. Adam Sokolowski? Yes. Bernie Sadowski? Yes. Kathy Felton? Yes. Uh, motion is carried. Uh, we will continue this hearing for Charles Beto on August 13th, 2020. Hopefully we'll have the, whatever you want to call it, ready to go. Bill passes four to, accepted with four to, uh, with no dissenting votes. Accepted. Continuation. Correct? Yep. Old business? Oh. Old business, none. New business. I think new business would be access to our records and files prior to a hearing so that we can actually review the information that's available uh, so that we're not playing catch up when we get here. Right. I, I agree. We need, to, we need to have the stuff available to us not uh, half an hour before we get to, to our meetings. We have to look at this stuff and we have to have access to some place to look this information over. Prior to our August 13th meeting. Prior to our August 13th meeting. And I make a motion that we um, petition the uh, selectmen to give us a place to look at this mat materials so we can make intelligent uh, decisions uh, in reference to decisions we have to make for the ZBA and the town of Deerfield and its zoning laws. So I have well, a- Well, Bernie, I, I'd agree. I mean, I think it's time, to, it's time the town hall open back up. The rest of the towns around us are all opening back up. If you call the telephone, Adam, it'll tell you it's open all the time. And it has been. They never took the message down about the opening of town hall. But you can't uh, get in. But you can't get in. But they. But you call the phone, it tells you the, the yeah. building is open from whatever time it is to whatever time. So, Adam, other towns are opening their town halls? Is that what you said? Oh, yeah. Hatfield, Waitley, Conway. I mean, yeah, you got to wear a mask when you go in and you don't hug and kiss anybody, you know. Get too close, keep your six foot distance, but so it's is that, craziness. That so is, is it, it do they up. have a do they have a date set for opening this for our town hall? No, there's they haven't done anything about it that I've heard of. I last I heard last rumor I heard was not till till September or October. I, I don't know, but Hatfield posted today they're open, Hadley's open, Waitley's open, Conway was open last week. I mean you gotta be smart about it. Like I said, no, you know, but if there's documents that we need to review, we should be able to have access. Sure, definitely before August 13th. Yeah. I mean, my, my question is, maybe they're not letting the public in, but we're a board. We're a functioning board in the town of Deerfield that represents the town of Deerfield and its people. So we need to have access to make intelligent decisions. So if we call Jen and set up a time, to, and they each come in individually to look over stuff, we probably could then. I don't know. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We should. I, I, I think... Well, I mean, Bernie, I think you could, could follow up with, with the town administrator's office and, you know, at least make it known that the select, selectmen know that, you know, there needs to be accommodations made so board members with the proper face masks and social distancing and everything else, if there's documents to review and paper that can't be emailed or faxed out and members want to look at them on hard copy, they should be able to get in and do it. Okay. This, this information, for example, the Beto... File. Yeah. The, the other thing is, um, on the 13th, we should make every effort uh, to do in-person hearings. With the ex maybe the only exception might be to the one that's already been postponed. Right. Uh, that one might have to be done remotely because there, there are probably 200 people that will show up for it. Right. But there's no reason why a hearing like this couldn't have been done with three people present or four. And, uh, and accommodated with social distancing. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what it costs to, I know that the federal government gave the town a lot of money for COVA and what have you, but there's no reason that this hearing couldn't have been open meeting with the people actually sitting here tonight and what have you, and with Adam participating by phone, which is fine, uh, and hopefully John could have participated, but there's no reason why we should have had to continue because of the 
this snafu with the system. Correct. Well, they certainly well, would monitor well, the numbers. I think it's something you're going to have to talk to the town hall's administrative staff with, especially with that Dollar General coming up as far as new businesses. Yeah. You can only let so many people in. I understand that. But if other people want to speak, they're outside in a waiting area out in the parking lot, whatever the case is. And if they decide they want to, you know, have some type of system where you're, you know, in line, whether it's, you know, you take a number like at the deli counter or whatever, and we give people the opportunity to speak. Because I, I know a lot of people want to speak. And, you know, there, there might, you know, the town hall staff should be able to hopefully arrange it so we can get it, get it over with. I agree. Now, did, many people have already spoken on, on that hearing, and unless there's new information, um, they need to let other people speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, so, so a lot to prepare for for August 13th. In, in writing, too. I read everything yeah. that gets emailed to me, so if people want to submit things in writing, they should submit them, and, you know, the, the staff uh, in the building inspector's office can send them out. We'll, we'll take it under advisement and read it. I definitely read everything that gets sent to us. Okay. We want some system to preview this information, correct? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to take, we're going to take a vote on this. So when I go to her, I can say, this is what our vote was. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have some place to preview information at town office if necessary. You know, not where we're going to have three of us here at the same time. Right. Because then that would constitute a meeting. So, I mean, it has to be done. We can just coordinate one at a time to come in. One right. at a time. And, you know, at the board member's convenience, so to speak. I mean, you used to be able to go in and just the building inspector's office, ask Sue for the file. Right. And sit there and look at it. That's right. And that's what should be done. Right. But we shouldn't have three people there doing it because then we'd be in violation of the open sure. meeting law. Sure, sure. So we can't do it three anyways with open meeting law. Yeah. So we just set up an appointment. We Let's just set up an appointment. I think that's the right way to do it. Sue's there. She hasn't. If it's, it's not available, you have to come back a different time. Not like that. We're so busy. Okay. All right. I don't imagine they'll have issue with that. It makes sense. Well, we'll see. Yeah. They they locked this place down pretty tight. Um. With the <clears throat> DG one. We have to come up with a better system. Correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. And the other thing is, you've got to develop the agenda for that evening as to which one you want to take up first. I mean, you've got right now, you have the Dollar General, the Beto, and you also have the Telego one. Telego one. All coming up the same night. Right. And you don't know, maybe there's something else in the pipeline, too. Okay, but you can't possibly do all, all of those that night. Well, it doesn't make a difference to me, Bernie, if we start earlier, you know. Uh, uh, you know, me personally, you know, if you want to start at 6 again or even start at 5 or whatever, we could, we could make, start it, at, make a night of we, it. We but could start at 4 just, and plan to take a break in between uh, yeah. and then go on from there. Yeah, I think... Is that all right with you? Yes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's gonna, now, yeah. when you continued those others, Bernie, did we continue them to, a, to 6 o'clock that night, or did you continue them to 7 or what? Just to the eight, August 13th meeting. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't set a time. But <coughs> did we set it on the Dollar General one? On that no. Okay. <coughs> no. I think we ought to authorize Bernie to uh, uh, adjust the uh, agenda that evening that day uh, to accommodate the uh, three hearings that we currently know of. And then will we have uh, a time limit on that meeting? Didn't we discuss that at some point? <coughs> well, we said we we're going to stop at 9 o'clock. Okay, that's what I meant. So I'm we sorry. start at 4, we go to 9. We'll take a break. Take we'll a half hour break and someplace in between or whatever we see comfortable with at the time. I mean, but I think you ought to schedule and take up these and get them over with. The smaller ones first and then the other one. Absolutely. Okay, we'll do the smaller ones first? Yeah. And if, if everybody's... Yeah, we need, to, we, cause we need to get through these. Yeah, we need to get through this. You, you agree with this, Adam? I do, absolutely. Okay. Um, and this can be communicated to the rest of the board, perhaps. 
Should be. Yeah, because that, that's a that's a lot earlier to say four o'clock versus six for some people to kind of figure out. Well, there's not much we can do. We have to get through these. Yeah. yeah. And we just need to make sure that well, the people know, and then we get the RSVP, so we make sure we have enough, et cetera. Because the the first couple I'm in, but not the last one. Right. Okay. Um, you can get off early that night. Yeah. Okay. Um, do we need a vote on this or not? If you want teeth to it, you put it to a, we put it to I, a vote. All I, right? I agree. I think we need to take a vote. Okay, we're voting on starting at 4 o'clock and running till 9 o'clock on August 13th. We're voting to go with the smaller uh, individuals, which would be the Telega and the Charles Beto first, followed by the Dollar General. We're going to take a half an hour break in between, and we're going to need to have information in the town office somewhere where we can meet with this information and follow these. No, we're not going to meet. No, I mean, it's got to be available. Available. The individual perusal of the various board members right. okay. so that they are familiar with the topics. Okay. We're yeah. not going to meet. No, so I'm sorry. Can... Right. Not meet. Meet with the information. Yeah. What I meant to say. All right. And the other thing, Bernie. Second it. We we also need to uh, make note that this was not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the agenda because we brought up something that wasn't on the agenda, but we didn't anticipate right. it coming up. Right. So therefore, it's permissible to bring it up. Right. It's an emergency and, situation. Well, it's, it's it is what it is. It needs to be covered. Okay, so let's take a vote on that. So when I go to town office this week or Monday, one, oh, town office is closed tomorrow. Why is it closed tomorrow? I think it's closed on Fridays. And Adam already seconded it. Okay, so it's seconded. So let's, um, Madam Secretary, let's take a vote. Robert Decker? Yes. Adam Sokolowski? Yes. Bernie Sadowski? Yes. Kathy Felton? Yes. Okay, the motion's carried. So we're going to pursue this. Um, these changes we were looking for to uh, clean up this action and get these things done in a reasonable manner. Some of these things we're dealing with are beyond our beyond our control and yeah. are not fair to people. And so we're going to we're going to try to straighten it out. All right. Okay. Good luck, Bernie. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Are you going to close the meeting? Right, somebody's coming on the door here. Uh, motion to adjourn. Motions. Do I have a second? A second. Second. Motion to adjourn. Meeting is now adjourned.